Chris here, and we're about to jump into book three of High School Story. Um, oh my gosh, there's probably going to be diamond options in this that I won't be able to do, because I don't have no diamonds left, but let's just do it. Chapter three, The Broken Hearted. What's going on, Sebastian? Oh, Caleb, um, you stand in front of the bathroom door blocking Caleb's view of Zoe and Brian making out. I should warn him, or just step aside and let him walk in and see? I'm going to warn him. So I'm Briar are in there together. What? No, you're lying. She wouldn't do that. Can't push past you and marches into the bathroom. The stops the hidden tracks when he sees him Brian kissing furiously against the wall. Oh. oh gosh, I'm hurting for him so hard right now. No, it, it, oh, I can't even. <laughs> Please tell me this is some sort of misunderstanding. It doesn't look like me. Crap, you weren't supposed to see this. Caleb, I'm sorry. I can't with her. After everything, how could you? Caleb trails off his voice on the verge of cracking. It's over, Zoe. Caleb exits the room and turns to you. Thanks for the heads up, Sebastian. You're good in my book. Okay. Anytime I just wish this didn't happen. Me too. Cape takes one long glance at the bathroom before storming outside. Good riddance. Seriously? We were kind of in the middle of something. Oh, they're both trash. You're both trash, but I'm kind of more ticked at Brian. You betrayed him. How could you do throw that away to your friendship like that? Oh, I picked the Brian one. It's one girl. He'll get over it. So you'd forgive Caleb if he stole your girl? Time for you to go. Yeah, go comfort that washed up excuse for a football player. I found someone better. Now, where were we? So this time, adoring your face, you turn and head back outside. No, I kind of wish I had called Zoe a monster, because I think she's more, tr like, uh, honestly, Caleb's in the wrong, but I feel like Zoe's just, like, completely heartless. I'm getting a very, like, she's a heartless person vibe, honestly. That sorry Caleb, going from that sorry Caleb to everything that after that, she's just a mess. All right, I need to go. This book is going to be long. I can already feel it. Let's go. You look around the backyard, but Caleb's nowhere to be seen. Several of your classmates rush up to you. Sebastian, what happened? Caleb just took off. He and I just walked in on Brian and Zoe making out. No! Why would she cheat on Caleb? Can't say I'm surprised. He shouldn't be alone right now. We've got to go after him. We? You're new here, so I'll let you it slide, but none of us really hang with Caleb except Julian. But he's one of us. Wouldn't you want someone to go after you if the tables were turned? We can't leave Caleb alone. Who's with me? I'd do anything for Caleb. I'll help. Oh, Emma. I can't let my football brother down. I'm in too. Count me in as well. What Zoe did is disgusting. I agree, Maria. Not to mention, Caleb could persuade a few more people to attend homecoming. God dang it, Maria. <laughs> it's the right thing to do, so I'll join your group. Yay, we got the ragtag group of friends who aren't really friends. I love that type of thing. Everyone turns to look at Michael. He raises an eyebrow and scoffs. I can't believe you all, but this party's boring, so what the heck, I'm in. I've got nothing better to do. Thanks, everyone. Any idea where Caleb will run off to? Made the Golden Gretel. That's where I'd go to grab a burger and sulk. Only one way to find out. Wild goose chase... Sequence enact it at the diner. You find mostly empty booths except for one high school couple in the corner. They hold hands while splitting a milkshake. Hey guys, didn't think I'd see you here after the party. I see you brought the new kid. Oh, Wes and Autumn. Wes and Autumn are from the original high school story game, which you can still play. Um, and I shipped them, so I'm happy with this. <laughs> oh, I'm Sebastian Valdez, newest student to Barry High and already in the thick of the drama. How do you know all that? It's Wes. He makes us his business to know everything that goes on around town. Guilty, although Adam's trying to keep me on the straight and narrow. Trust me, much easier said than done. Julian's eyes linger on Wes and Adam's laced hands. She catches his stare and moves her hand beneath the table. That's that. She didn't need to do that. Julian sighs heavily. With everyone's else attention on the conversation you whispered to him, 
You like Autumn, don't you? No, not, not at all. Like, that's ridiculous. Autumn and I, we, she made her choice a long time ago, and it wasn't me. I didn't realize. It's okay. You didn't know. We dated for a little, and it's been really hard ever since things ended. I think it's good that you're respecting that. Odds with West now. You don't want to be the wedge that drives them apart. Yeah, I guess that's what Brian did. Many things will change in the future, but don't force it. You're right. Thanks. So what brings everyone to the Golden Griddle so late tonight? We're looking for Caleb. He found out Zoe cheating on him with Brian. I'm surprised it took him this long to find out. You know? It's my job to know, not tell. So any chance Caleb stopped by? Sorry, it's just been us tonight. I'll try the I'd try the arcade. Caleb likes to blow off steam there. Thanks for the tip. We'll check it out. Good luck. As you and the group leave, Julian looks back for one final glance at Autumn before he heads out the door. Do 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 do. At the arcade. <laughs> of your classmates surrounding a pink-haired girl focused on her disco dance rebel rebel rebellion game. D this <laughs> dance dance revolution. You understand why I screwed up there. Um, down, up, left, left, spin. Get it, Sakura. Go, Sakura. Whoa, you beat Caleb's high score. He was here. Yeah, he left like five, maybe ten minutes ago. We're on the right track. Emma, you're here. I mean, of course you're here. You're standing in front of me. And you're uh, standing in front of me. How, how are you doing? I'll be better once we find Caleb. Oh. Uh, maybe later we could play... Not the time, Louis. We're in a bit of a time crunch. Where'd Caleb run off to? You'd have to ask Sakura. She's the one who talked to him. Hey, Sakura. Talk later. Must beat my high score. If you want her attention, you're gonna you've gotta enter the dance. I got enough change for one round. But who's going to face Sakura? It's your change, shouldn't you go? You've clearly never seen Aiden's dance before. <laughs> okay, then who? Says so no one to step it up, I'd love to play DDR. That didn't take much convincing. This game's my jam. It'll be a cakewalk to beat Sakura. No, it won't, but I'll try. We'll see about that. Give me the quarters. I'm going in. I feel like this is a mini game. New challenger approaches. Ready, player two? Yes. Let's talk in more dancing. Couldn't have said it better myself. Welcome to my domain. Oh, God. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay, let's not fail this. Step on, up. Okay, I didn't know where I was supposed to be looking. Step on, down. Step on, left. Step on, up. Step on, right. Cool, I'm gonna mess that up. Step on, left. The song ends and you check the score. Woo, in your face, new high score. No, you've bested me. I never thought I'd see the day. That's me, Sebastian of House of Alice, slayer of dances and breaker of high scores. Heh, don't get ahead of yourself. It's beginner's luck, noob. I'll get you next time. Sakura leans against the machine, grinning at you. So what can I help you with? We heard you know where Caleb went. Oh, that's it? He said he was cutting to the beach to cool down. Sounds more like a vacation to me. I doubt Caleb would see it that way. Poor Caleb. I just want to give him a hug. You follow the group toward the exit, but Lewis pulls you back. Sebastian, you're new here, but you and Emma seem pretty close already. Um, do you know she's single? Oh, gosh. Uh, so, I know Emma's interested in Caleb, but I think that she'd be a better match with this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know this guy. But I don't know this guy, so I can't really say you'd be a great match. But I also don't want to, like, break his spirit. Like, uh, oh, bah, I don't know. And my sister's a gal. Oh. I don't know what's going to happen now that Caleb's singing again, but I doubt that this is the best time to make a move. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. 
Good luck with your search. He was saying sad, but he was like, okay. I think he, I think that's a rough move. Because I don't know you like that. <laughs> I don't know you like that. I'm still you a good match. All right, there he is. Good thing we get here so quickly. You can think. You can thank my dancing skills. Caleb sits at the water's edge, waves lapping at his feet. He stares blankly into the distance. He looks so sad. Let's go talk to him. We shouldn't all crown him at once. Who wants to talk him off the edge? God dang it, Michael. I guess I can. Go. We're on the football team together, but I'm not great at the whole feelings talk. Someone else might be better. Well, I'm not going to be that person because I'm short one diamond and because I wouldn't spend my diamonds on that anyway. Julian should go. <laughs> I'll be right back. We'll get a fire started while you talk. Julian sits down next to Caleb. You can't hear the conversation over the crashing waves. You turn to the rest of the group. Come on, let's get some firewood. Soon you start a raging bonfire on the beach. Woo -woo. You sit around the blaze, feeling the warmth. This is the life. Yeah, enjoying the fire that you didn't even help with. You guys had it handled. I didn't want to get in the way. I hope Caleb's doing better. Looks like he's coming this way. Caleb and Julie enjoying you next to the fire. Hey guys, J thanks for coming. Don't mention it. How are you holding up? Honestly, I feel like I've been hit by a train. I can't believe you guys came all this way to find me. I thought I knew who my real friends were before tonight, but I was wrong. It's all of you. You should thank Sebastian. He's the one who convinced us to come. It was nothing. Thanks, everyone. I know I'm not close to a lot of you, but I want to change that. It means so much that you guys went out of your way to make sure I'm all right. You make it a lot easier to deal with it all. We can't just leave you to sulk by yourself. You weren't me and I still didn't believe you. Not your fault. You trusted his own, Ryan. I can't believe this happened to you. Emma hugs Caleb tightly. He smiles, patting her gently on the back. You gonna teach Brian a lesson for stealing your girl? That won't solve anything. He needs to move on. I don't know what I'll do next time I see him. Football practice is gonna be rough. Or any classes you have together. If he tries any funny business, he'll have to answer to us. I don't think he dare take on all of us. I'd like to see him try. We won't let anything happen to you. Thanks. I'm glad you've all got my back. That was very sweet. Like, I, like, I didn't remember the reaction, but, but like, that was really, really sweet. Like, I was very, very much here for that. Um, oh, man. Why did they give me, like, a Breakfast Club vibe? Because they're, so, they're all so very different. Except there's more of them. It, I don't know. I love it. The next morning. During home and warm, Caleb takes a seat next to you right before his goal bell rings. Caleb takes a seat next to you right before his goal bell rings. Cutting it close this morning. After a night I had, can you blame me? Point day in. Just then the door swings open and Brian walks in the classroom. He sits at the desk behind you and Caleb. Hey, Caleb, buddy. How you doing? Caleb's jaw clenches as he turns his focus to this textbook. Oh, the silent treatment. How angsty. Back off, Brian. Ooh, too good to fight your own battles, Caleb? What? Are you scared to face me? You can't ignore me, Caleb. I'm your best friend. Some friend you are. Is it about the whole Zoe thing? Because let me tell you, she's a damn gut kisser. So after you two ran off, we... I would fucking kill him. <laughs> like, ooh, it would be so hard not to. <laughs> Slam. Caleb shuts the textbook on his desk. A hush falls over the entire classroom. That's it. Caleb stands up, towering over Brian. He balls up his fists. Brian rises to meet him eye to eye. Can't take it anymore. Caleb. You gonna hit me? I'd like to see you try. And is that the end of the episode? That was actually a pretty quick episode, I guess. It, it's, yeah, pretty much. It felt like it, at least. Next time in high school story, Caleb faces off against Brian, and someone is sent to the principal's office, of course. All right. Yeah, that was a pretty quick episode. Um, pretty good, quick chapter. I mean, I feel like it's not... I mean, it, oh, man. So and Brian are such trash. They just really, really, really suck. <laughs>
I cannot stand them, and I, I just, I don't know. They're just the worst. But yeah, I want to hit Brian. That's what I want to do. He makes me want to hit him. All right, all right, yeah. But that was that. Um, the fr- we got this group starting to slowly come together. That was really cool. And f- trying to help out Caleb. And we're going to see what goes from there. Hopefully no one dies. We'll see. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. All right. Um, I'll see you all in the next one of these. If you're only watching these. And then my next videos, you watch my other videos. And yeah. Have a good day.